welcome again to the one point only arcade challenge if you're joining us for the first time this is the place where i attempt to play every single old school arcade game and today we're going to be playing street fighter this is the original to street fighter 2 one of the best fighting games of all time so let's insert one credit and see how we can do off this playthrough first of all you get a choice of japan or usa uh it doesn't matter who you pick because in this version you're going to be ryu anyway So I'm just going to walk through the buttons with you guys. Uh, the buttons are pretty much the same. You've got three attacks with punch, three attacks with kick. Uh, as you can see, this game came out in 1987, so it doesn't quite look the standard as Street Fighter 2. They didn't have the technology back then. However, it's still pretty good for its time. And uh, as you can see, it's at least familiar with its, uh, with its Street Fighter 2 counterpart. You can definitely see where Street Fighter 2 came from by looking at this game. It's familiar enough. Um, the one thing that really bothers me about this is the control scheme. It's pretty much the same, uh, like to do Hadoukens and all kinds of other special moves. The buttons are pretty much the same in the original Street Fighter as they are in Street Fighter 2. The problem is the controls are just, I don't know if it's a delayed or it's its jerkiness, but you can press these special moves over and over and over and uh, they won't execute. They're just It's just incredibly, incredibly frustrating. Um, I don't know if it's a joystick I'm using, or if this is just a, a poorly designed game as far as control scheme goes, but it's next to impossible for me, and I'm, and I'm trying now, uh, to execute special moves. So that's really, really disappointing. Um, because without the special moves, it does make the fighting feel a little bit bland, in my own personal opinion. But at least just by spamming buttons, we've, we've beaten a guy. We're going to see who we're fighting next. Now, I don't really know about Street Fighter 2 lore, but compared to Street Fighter 2, these characters all seem really, really different. Um, this Geki guy sounds familiar. Someone maybe should comment below and, and let me know his backstory. But yeah, hopefully I can pull up... Oh, there you go. See, I did one special move. Buttons were exactly the same as it is in Street Fighter 2, but for some reason I only worked that time. Uh, I quite like the background in this. The graphics look really, really nice in this background. I, I was always a fan of these early games that had the um, scrolling background. As you can see, the sky is moving. It just sort of gave that early sense of the game being alive. It's just really cool, subtle design choices you can pick to, to add to your presentation. That's a nice touch. But yeah, this is, this is not going to be a real uh, interesting video to watch as far as gameplay goes. The, 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 the combat's really, really shallow in comparison to, to Street Fighter 2. And don't get me wrong, it, it's not because they didn't make the effort. As I said, they've, they've made a, the same complex button scheme as they did in Street Fighter 2. And, uh... But it's just... I just don't think the technology was ready for it yet in 1987. But, look guys, this is Street Fighter the original. Have a look at where Street Fighter 2 began if you're interested. And uh, thank you again for joining us, guys. If you like what we do, please subscribe, share, and tell your friends about us. And we'll see you next time.